morning, everybody. We got the weasel with us again. We are headed down to Chicago. Uh, Chicago? How does Brit pronounce it? Chicago? Chicago. Chicago. We're headed down there. We'll be there tomorrow evening. I want to unload Thursday morning. And then Thursday at noon, we have to reload in Michigan City, Indiana. And that load's going to take us to Hamilton, Ontario. And then we have another reload Friday evening at that same place again for uh, another load of that wide steel, 10 foot wide steel. And that's in, uh, where was it? St. Catharines, Ontario. And then that's going back to Alberta. So we got the next whole week drawn out for us. Oh shoot, I didn't put it into my GPS yet. Good thing I know how to get to the border. And all the way to Chicago. I'll have to put that in at my next stop. First stop is Flying J in St. Agath, Manitoba. We need to get some coffee. I don't need to fill up the tanks. We're good there. We'll fill up in the States for some cheaper juice. But I do need some coffee. We don't have a long day ahead of us yet. We need to get... I'd like to get to Black River Falls, Wisconsin tonight, but uh, we'll see. It's another eight or nine hours from here. Well, we'll see. Oh, who left this squeegee sticking out like this? Look at this. Who does that? One second. Can I have to grab this with my hand? Who does that? Really? I just want to park in front of the pumps. Just getting a coffee. I need a stronger, like, seatbelt finger that zips up the seatbelt for me. Oh, it sucks it up. Okay, so we have a reload out of, like I was saying, Michigan City. I just got the information for it here. Got to pick it up on the last of the month. And it doesn't say when it has to be there by. It just says I got to deliver it to Hamilton, Ontario. I guess it's just got to get it there as soon as I can. Which will probably be... Well, if I pick it up, that would be Thursday. I'm probably going to try to deliver it Friday yet, I'm assuming. Guess we'll see. We'll find out. First things first. Liquid life. The day can now officially begin. Oh yes, this is going to be so good. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not picky with coffee. As long as it's got caffeine in it. I'm picky about caffeine. Decaf coffee, that's a waste of coffee. It's gotta have caffeine. What's the whole point of drinking coffee if it doesn't have caffeine? Right?
pre-pass told me that I gotta pull into this scale, so I'll see if they are gonna let me bypass within the scale here or if they actually want to scale me. Watching these lights above above the road here. If it stays on the left, I just keep left. Okay, so you're gonna let me bypass. Well, that was pointless of telling me to pull in then. Because my pre-pass system in the truck here told me that I had to pull into the scale. I couldn't bypass. But now the scale is telling me to bypass. I could have just stayed on the road. Oh well. We're here in uh, Moorhead, Minnesota. Just into the United States. A little ways into the United States. This is the first big scale on our way down to Chicago. I guess they didn't want to see me after all. Maybe they don't like me. That's fine with me. Uh, exit 127, Sock Center, Minnesota. I'm gonna stop by the gym here and do a little workout. I didn't work out while I was at home. Well, I did actually. I shoveled two feet of snow off my entire roof and it took over three hours. So that was a pretty good workout. <laughs> But I want to go into the gym here today and uh, keep my routine going. Because you know me, if I don't force myself to keep my routine and force myself to go, before you know it, I missed one day, then I missed three days, then I missed a week, and then I missed two years. So I have to force myself to go. Even if it's just for a little while, I've got to stop by the gym and keep my routine. Are you guys like that too? I'm terrible for that. Look, look at me with my whole walking thing from before our wedding. I was so bent on getting in shape for the wedding. And as soon as the wedding was over, I didn't go to the gym for a few weeks. And then all of a sudden, boom, it was almost two years since I'd been to the gym. So Snap turn Fitness. Left on 12th Street South. Oh, hush. Turn left. Snap Fitness is just off to the left here. I'm gonna go park off to the right and walk on over. So that was an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, I should be hurting again tomorrow. That's good. Oh boy. But I still got some weight to lose. Look at this. Whew. When I have to stop unbuttoning, or how do I say this? The day I have to stop unbuttoning my button of my pants to be comfortable sitting in my truck, I've arrived at a weight I'm comfortable with. Until then, I still have to undo my belt and unbutton the button. <laughs> oh boy. My arms are just like heavy right now. Just I did my biceps, triceps, pecs. What else did I do? Went for a jog. And my shoulders. Yeah, so my and my abs too. So pretty much my upper body. And a little bit of running. But... Whew. Yep. I need to do that every day. Or more often. Maybe every second day. Gotta give my arms and my body a chance to heal. But on the days when I'm letting my muscles heal up, I should be doing some walking or running at least, right? Or at least some walking. Gotta keep this body active. I sit for a living. So some may call me a professional sitter. So I have to make sure that... Uh, I get my body active, otherwise you turn into a a 400 pound steering wheel holder and I refuse to be one of those. Gotta make the effort. Let's get back out there on the highway, I want to go a little bit further yet. I was lucky enough that it was late at night that there's nobody around that I actually got to park right in the gym parking lot. That's great. Turn right on Main Street South. If it's too busy, like if it's during the day and I come here, I always gotta park further away. Turn left on July 94. I usually park on the street by McDonald's over there, then it's like a about a block walk, which isn't bad, but I'd rather park right by the gym or in the gym parking lot, then I can keep an eye on my truck from inside the gym. It started to snow a little bit while I was in the gym. 
Hopefully that won't cause any problems down the road. I'd like to get past Minneapolis so I don't gotta go through there tomorrow during the day. It's past midnight and I'm getting really tired. I'm pulling over. We haven't made it past Minneapolis yet, but we have all day tomorrow to get to our destination. Only 700 kilometers to go, so less than 500 miles, and we'll be unloading the next morning. So I'm going to pull into this rest area here and uh, see if I can find somewhere to park for tonight. Let me do the rest tomorrow. I'm tired. And I would much rather uh, stop now than drive to, you know, like 3 in the morning. Oh boy, I don't know if they'll even be parking here for me. These guys are already blocking part of the driveway. Like I said, it's after midnight, so I might have a hard time finding parking at all. Oh, this guy took up two spots. How kind of you, good sir. There's a bit of snow on the ground. Why don't you just take up two spots? This guy too. A little tanker yanker. Taking up two spots like he owns the place. This guy too. Jeez, guys. It's not that hard. Just take up one spot. And this guy. Right in the middle of two spots. You know, I think I might still be able to get in there. I'm going to see if I can get in there. See if I can get in between these two guys. I'm just gonna have to cut her really wide. There we go. Quite a bit of snow here that hasn't been cleared yet. So I don't want to get stuck either. There we go. I fit. I fit. Even though that guy didn't park straight, I still fit. All right, I'm just gonna go back and forth a little bit to flatten out the snow underneath my tires, just so that uh, I don't get stuck in the morning. You know, some drivers get really mad at me for this, but uh, I must say that I am a huge supporter of e-logs. Just because I don't have to do any paperwork anymore. You see what I did right there? Day is done. Logs are filled out. Just doop, doop, doop. Done. No more of this mathing. Writing lines, writing where I am, trying to figure out where I am. This thing already knows where I am. I don't need to figure it out every time. Sort of guess. I don't know, I like it. So we're going to bed here. It's snowing pretty good outside. I'm going to walk the weasel and uh, get ready to hit the hay back there. I'm actually pretty excited to try out my new mattress that I got. Uh, it's actually I bought it for Britt because when she comes on the truck, uh, I want her to have a softer bed to sleep on than just those little, uh, what would you call them, cushions? Not even, they're not even cushions. They're just pads pretty much. But it's so that we can fold it into a table, right? So it's like, a, we got it from Costco. It's a memory foam mattress that you can just roll out on it. Actually pretty excited to try it out. Just gonna go and do a quick walk around the truck here. Make sure that I'm in a position where I'm only taking up one spot. And make sure that I'm in a spot where uh, the other drivers around me can get out. Oh, he's got plenty of room to get around me. Yeah. Oh boy. There's lots of snow here. So this is my load. Just economy lumber. I'm gonna need the triaxle for that wide load of steel out of Ontario. So I've got the triaxle with me again. Oof, got a little bit of snow on the back. Should probably wipe that off right now before I 
forget. You know, I'll be out here to check in the morning again anyways, but... Snow is coming down pretty good right now. So I did have to park a little closer to this guy because that guy was taking up more than one spot, but I think there's plenty enough room for people to get around me. They can drive through. I can actually come back a little bit further even. Just need to make sure that people can get through here, you know? Oh, I hope that it doesn't snow too much tonight. I've had enough snow for this winter already. I'm really looking forward to beaches and camping in summertime. This is the mattress topper. I just pulled it out. Somehow I gotta get, I gotta cut this off and then let it expand. Hmm. It's heavy. And then I got this cover up here that I'm gonna put over it yet. And you put a sheet on top of that, but I don't got a sheet with me. Or do I? I thought I carried an extra sheet in here. If not, then I'll just put an extra blanket on top for now, but here goes nothing. No idea what I'm doing here, so. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there. I gotta cut this somehow. I don't think I got scissors in here though. I got a knife though. I got a couple of knives. I got a whole bunch of knives. You got scissors? Oh wait, I think I do got scissors. Is there scissors in here? Pretty sure. Wait, maybe not. Oh, yes there is. There they are. Okay. Little itty bitty baby scissors. Okay, so I gotta get rid of this big box that's gonna be in the way. Hold on there, Diesel. I'm trying not to hurt myself here while I get this mattress tougher. Is this gonna work? It, scissors aren't sharp enough. Okay, I'll use my knife. I just gotta be very careful not to cut the actual mattress, right? Okay, very, very careful. That works, that's nice and sharp. You guys see what I'm doing here? I really don't want to cut the mattress. Oh, this thing is so sharp. <laughs> I just gotta barely touch it. Get, to get in between the mattress and the bag. I don't want to cut the mattress at all. It's really tight. Really, really tight. Can I rip it? Can I rip it? Oh, ha -ha! Oh, that's what working out does for you. There you go. Who needs knives and scissors when you got these guns? Right? There we go. Okay. Now, we roll it out and let it take shape. Oh man, that, that is pretty hard. It's not as wide as I thought it would be. <laughs> I think you gotta... Oh, look how compressed it is. Oh, wow. And that expands out to... Uh, how thick was it again? 7.6 centimeters or 3 inches. So this is going to expand... Sorry. 
that's going to expand out to three inches yet. Oh wow. Oh wow, so it's, it's a little big. It's a little wide for this bed, but that's okay. It's okay. You can always cut a little bit of it off so it fits properly. Oh my, okay, there we go. Oh, it smells funny. All right, there we go. It's already expanded quite a bit, quite quickly. It's supposed to just let it sit for a while. Yeah, it's a double. So, it's, it's a little bit too big, but that's okay. That's okay. I'll just cut the little, little piece off the end and it'll fit in just perfect. I'm just gonna wait for it to expand fully before I do that. Feels like it's gonna be nice and comfy though. Look how thick it is now, eh? Crazy, it just expands. It's pretty big, it's pretty big. I gotta cut that whole back piece off so it fits on here properly, but. Hey, at least it's not too small, right? Probably could have gone with a twin, but. Oh well. Looks awesome though. I don't know how I'm gonna cut it. Guess with a, a little bit bigger of a knife than this one. Or maybe just with this one, that was a really sharp knife. Hey, what would you do with that? So thanks for watching today, guys. I appreciate it. Hit that like button if you like the video. Subscribe if you want some more. We make a new video every day. Got over 2,000 videos on the internet, so there's a lot to catch up on if you're new. But that's okay. We're glad to have you here. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm tired. I'm going to go watch videos on YouTube of car crashes and truck fails. And what was the other one? Strange, mysterious things who have washed up on shore from the ocean. YouTube is a marvelous place. Talk to you tomorrow.